Welcome to 4.9's Math Moment. Today, students learned about exponents and how it applies to multiplication. So they had several equations that looked very similar to these today in class. The very first thing we want to talk about is what does 10 to the first power actually mean? It just means 10 at this point. So it just means 10. If I have 10 to the second power, it means 100. And then 10 to the third power means 1,000. So the very first thing that students need to know, 10 to the first power is just 10, to the second power is 100, and 10 to the third power is 1,000. If you notice, this 1 also correlates to how many zeros my problem has. Now to complete this equation, what we have to think about is we need to think about 4 and 9, 9 and 4 tenths times 10 to the first power, which is the same as 10, which means we're going to shift our number just one spot over here, because we take a times 10, it's going to shift it once to the right, which gives us an answer of just 94. Now, some students have a really hard time figuring this question out, so what we always ask them to do is, if you're not sure of which way the decimal is going to move, or it's going to move to the left or the right, go ahead and take a second and solve the shift problem with the very first one. So I'm going to model that over here. 9 and 4 tenths times 10. If I go ahead and model this out, Four and then 9, hop in 1, I can see that my decimal is going ahead and it's going to shift to the right. So on this next question, since I've solved this one and I've proved my answer right here, I can go ahead and just move this one, 1, 2 hops, for an answer of 940. On this one, I'm going to take 9 and 4 tenths times uh, 10 to the third power, which is the same as 1,000. I know I'm going to shift it, 1, 2, three hops. So I'm going to fill those in with zeros. So I've got 9,400. For example two, we're going to think about the same thing. We're going to know that 10 to the first power is 10, 10 to the second power is 100, and 10 to the third power is 1,000. Looking at this, we don't have a whole number in front of our decimal this time. We just have 6 tenths. So we have 6 tenths times 10 to the first power, which is the same as 6 tenths times 10. Now, if I'm going to solve this one, I know I'm going to shift it just one to the right, which would then give me the whole number of six. Again, it's really important for students to go ahead and prove their work just to make sure those shifts are moving correctly. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to solve. So I'm going to take six tenths and put my ten on top since it's my larger number. I'm going to put my zero and then six. I'm going to hop it over one. I can see I've proven my work right here. It is six. Now that I've got 6 tenths times 10 to the second power, I know I'm going to take two shifts, 1, 2, for an answer of 60, and then 6 tenths times 10 to the third power for 1, 2, 3 hops for an answer of 600. If you have any questions about today's math lesson, see your math teacher.